What's up, everybody? My name is Ozzy, and this is Mikey Stacks. And welcome to Tune Into The Culture, episode three. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the 50 greatest slash influential rappers of all time, quote unquote, from Billboard themselves. Before we do that, uh, just want to shout out my brothers, Novell Damon. You know, I love you, my bad. I ain't shot y'all last video, but, you know, shout out for the support. And uh, my boy D. LaRusso, he dropped his uh, album, Reckless Forever. D. LaRusso, his Instagram is LaRusso, L A R U S O 757 at Instagram. So y'all uh, y'all peep that out on iTunes, on IG. Show my man some love. Good music right there. He's spitting bars. Bars. I also want to shout out my homie Cass. We were just talking about this off camera the other day at work. No, I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm bring him up in this conversation. I also shout out my boy Casper. You got Aiden and Kev. You know. Yeah. All the people supporting, showing love to the podcast. We appreciate. Oh, also shout out to Well too because he's the one that put me on how to set up the podcast information. Mm -hmm. He has this podcast called uh, Hang Loose Live Free. So yeah. Shout out to him for putting me on game. Because now we're on Spotify and the Anchor app. So you can go ahead and yeah. listen to our podcast. If you don't want to watch the video, you can just listen to the audio straight on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, so, check it out. All right, let's go ahead and get straight into yeah. Should we start from the bottom or from the top? I think we should start from the top. But the top <laughs> yeah, let's start from the so, top. Number one is Jay-Z. How do you feel about that? Because Jay-Z, like, he's he's great, but is he the GOAT? I don't think he's the GOAT. I feel like, I don't think he's the GOAT I either. I think they put him too high on this. I would, I would have even settled if they put Tupac on Number one. I don't think Jay Z's the GOAT, but he is a GOAT. He's a GOAT, but he's not the GOAT. But when it comes to business and rap music, he is by far the GOAT when it comes to that. He's the GOAT of that. But music lyrics wise, success. Technically, he's the first billionaire rapper. Yeah, he is. At first, I thought it was Dr. Dre, but I was like, Dr. Dre's not a rapper. But you know what's so crazy about him? He put on Rihanna, J. Cole, Kanye, Kanye, Kanye his Kanye. wife's Beyonce. I mean, the man, he he is legendary. He's like the godfather of rap, if you want to say that. He's he is a he is the I'll he's say the this. Jeff Bezos of rap. He's the most legendary rapper. I will say that. But as far as music, rapping wise and all that, I wouldn't I don't agree with him being number one. But I don't mad at I'm not mad at it. I see why they did that. I would say he's the most influential and successful. He's the most yeah, successful. He's the most influential as far as like he showed everybody like once you're no longer hot in rap, this yeah. is when you take your talents yeah. and put it into managing. And starting a business. That's why he said he's not a businessman. He's a businessman. Business that's a that's a bar. <laughs> bar. You know, even though we were trying to turn that, we kind of just hyped him up right here. Yeah. Like, no cap. We really just hyped him up. All right. So I would put, I would say he top 10. But yeah, I, he definitely I, I top 10. Like, he could be top five. I wouldn't matter top five. Because he, you got to remember, he does rap from every, all his raps are free. He writes them in his head and then he raps them. Yeah. So yeah, I, I put him top, I put him like at number eight or maybe like six, seven. So number two, Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar. Nah. I, I can put Kendrick Lamar in top five. I put Cole and Drake over him. Yeah. That's me personally. Have you? Did you hear the remix when they did the, the Black Friday ones? Yeah, that shit was hard. Yeah, was, and then there was like, J. Cole was like, uh, watch out this stuff. Yeah. Is going to get scary? Yeah, yeah, that was hard. And they never dropped the album. Nah, they, they, they did teased. it. They were, they were like this. They they hung, it, they hung it over your head. They were like, can you reach it? Psych. <laughs> I don't know. It, but if they, if they dropped that album, that would have been legendary. That would have been hard. That would have been real legendary. So for Kendrick Lamar, I, what, do you, what do you think would be a better place to put him? Uh, under I, Nas, I, under Pac. I feel like he could be top 10 for sure, though. I put him. Um, I don't think he above Drake. He's not above Drake. Drake. I put him under Drake. I put him right under Drake. I have. But actually, I would put Drake number two. I put. I got Biggie one and Drake two, but that's my personal so list. In regards to being the greatest rapper of all time, right? What do you think the criteria is? Like, if you don't, that's if, a hard if you thing. have people that write your music, does that make you less of a rapper? Because are we talking? Are you about, trying to take shots at Drizzy? No, no, no. Because Kanye <laughs> West has writers too. Every rapper has writers. No, but like, right? but some of them aren't credited. So they could be in the studio, yeah, and somebody so, like, "Yo, this is a hotline." Say this. Clarify, right? So you have songs where people are credited for, like you said, production, right? Yeah. So people that are making beats, people that are doing instrumentation, but then if you look under the list, it tells you what they did. Like, if they did the music side, like instrumental, or yeah. they did like. They have credits for writing part of the lyrics. Like Kanye has credits for people for writing lyrics and production. And Kanye said he's okay with that because he's just he's a producer. Yeah. For him, rap is not the only forms of making. Yeah. Music. He's our artist because he's an artist. Of it, he's right? an artist. Yeah. That's why. So for that it makes sense. So like I, I personally feel like it doesn't matter if you don't write your own music. Then it's not really true. However, if you would if you said something like I'm the greatest rapper, like as in I have the best bars, then it would be debatable. 
if you if you have Ghost Rider. You know yeah. Saying? But from what we've seen, Drake only had Ghost Rider for like those particular songs. The one that yeah. he had Quentin Miller on, but that's not even like his his best stuff. So I don't think the argument would really fit well. What else we so got? Number three is Nas. I I could Nas. I put Nas top. Three. You know what's so crazy? I didn't even, when I was younger. I didn't even fuck with Nas. I just started really rocking with him like the last two three years. I would say Nas. Like I listened to his radio hits, but like, like I li- I like dissected his albums. Illmatic, Stillmatic. It was written. I think Nas could wash everybody on this list. The only other person he that ain't watching Biggie. The only person he not I, watching Biggie. The only person I could <laughs> see like having like competitive like bar like bar for bar would be Kendrick and Eminem. Like like let's say they got on a song together and they were literally rapping against each other, right? Yeah. Or like either they're collabing or they're rapping against. I think those people. I don't think he would time. watch Biggie, bro. As, or Wayne. Like lyrically, like if he's putting a song composing together, I could I could put Nas. But Nas is not really a good hit maker. Like he can rap, but he's not good at making. I'm not saying he's not good at. No, if we're so he, if we're talking hits, then if we're, we're Drake we're number hits, one, Drake, Drake Wayne, it gotta be Wayne and Drake. Drake was on Billboard for over like five years. Billboard ago. Drizzy. Speaking of Drake, shout out to Drake. Shout out these OVO pants my wife bought me for my birthday. Must be must OVO be, must baby. Be nice to have OVO. But yeah, <laughs> he's like, oh me and the wife the other day. Oh me and the. I get it, man. You're married. <laughs> flex on us guys. Don't get mad because you're not married. I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I, I get it. I'm happy for you. You're flexing on my face. Like, it's, like, it's like when your homie gets a brand new car. You got to remind me, like, I'm, a, I'm, I'm really happy for you, bro. If you, like, not flexing while I'm walking. My wife's you know good to me. What can I expect? I'm yeah. sorry. Love you, wifey. Big, big, big love. <laughs> but, yeah, let's get stay on topic here. <laughs> uh, if we're talking, like, that's the thing, though. The criteria... But if it's Billboard, Billboard should go off of since it's yeah. Billboard, they should talk about hits because so, they're they're hits. Because on their list, because they're they're the charts, so they should, their criteria should be about hits, right? Exactly, because that's what they do. That means Drake should be number one. That means Drake should be. He has more hits than the Beatles. That means technically Drake should be number one. Yeah, he really did say that on the song. He really does have more hits than the, he has the most that's hits in hip hop Billboard history. Sure. What? <laughs> so all right, then if we do it by hits, then that means Eminem would be in, would still be top three. If he got he, he got hits, but I feel like Eminem he just had a no, big drop off. I though. think we can do this too. Let's pull up some of their platinum songs. Right? Let's pull, pull up Daisy platinum platinum songs. Right? So I, I think we gotta pull up uh, R I A. Right? I think that's Daisy platinum R I A. I forget what it stands for, but it's like recording industry certification, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So let's see. Be forgetting how to pull this up. Meanwhile, while I'm trying to find it, let's talk about uh the next people, right? So, Tupac is four. I think Tupac is. This is fair. very. Uh, this is like opinionated, though. That's why I don't. Well, any list would be opinionated if we if we strictly made the list on hits. Billboard could have done better because they literally, <laughs> literally create the charts. I know that's what so I'm saying. Them to, for them to have done it like this, I don't think it's all hits. So I, I think they I think accumulated a lot of everything. But the, even then, though, they're probably including flow, so like uh, lyrical ability, how the the music is replayable. Because that's also if someone's a great rapper, how many times are you gonna re-listen to the song? Is it like, oh, you know, it's cool for the moment, but like, well, I really care about the song in ten years, and that's what defines the word classic. Is this song gonna be good till the end of time? So my homeboy, the one that just dropped the album, my boy Dane D. Russo. Shout out, shout out my nigga D. LaRusso. Sorry, we had to cut through this one. Let me do it though. Anyway, so we just listed number four. Four is Tupac. How do you feel about that? Because I say Tupac is very influential. What I was going to say was my home, my best friend, he brought a point. Biggie and Tupac, they got killed. So it was like they died early. So it was like I feel like they get they get put on a pedestal, even though Biggie is my all-time favorite I would rapper. I say it's an effect of uh, martyr syndrome. Like when someone dies, and then they're remembered more because of what. Yeah, but they, they, those two are the perfect candidates, though, to be immortalized like that because they did have the skill. They were, and they had a pretty decent discography even before they died. Yeah, Tupac has so much unreleased music that released Biggie's after Life After Death, Ready to Die, was classic to this day. I still listen. To, I still bump those in the whip every day to this day. So, I mean. I, I I personally would put Biggie over really Tupac. Wish they would have labeled this list different. Like if they had put top fifty moments for one show, this list would have been so much easier to do. Yeah. That means Biggie and Tupac and Nas and Rakim would have been at the top. 
because they're literally Wayne's influential too. Oh man. yeah, you're right. Lil Wayne literally influenced the new generation of artists. Yeah. So ev- everyone after the eight, everyone after the year two thousand four, Lil Wayne influenced them. Yeah. Like the younger generation, because he also influenced mumble rap because he started sipping lean, and that's when that's literally if you if you listen to his older music, you see his style change where he starts doing the auto tune thing. Yeah. Which is pretty Bro, much chop and screw basically. This is how big Lil Wayne is. I, my high school, Tab High School, is like 90% white, bro. I told them motherfuckers, they was like, y'all don't really listen to rap, but I listen to Lil Wayne, bro. That's how, that's how he had a grip when he was popping from like 07 to like 2010, that rain he had. Lil Wayne was untouchable. And Lil Wayne also is a skateboarder, so you know, white boys love skateboarding. Yeah. <laughs> like but yeah, Lil Wayne, he, I feel like Lil Wayne low key might, should be a little higher. Than I that. think, I, honestly, this is going to be crazy, but I think Lil Wayne could be top five for real. Yeah, he could. Lyrical ability, punchline, and also influences hits everything all together. Two thousand six to two thousand nine, Lil Wayne was like on almost every single feature, and he made songs his. He if he if Lil Wayne freestyled on your beat, it was his fucking song. You can't bro. forget that Lil Wayne also has like the mixtape era where like he would literally get on people's instrumentals and kill. That's it. what I'm saying. It if, was embarrassing if you if he rapped on your beat. That was his beat. Every when he was on the remixes, everybody waited for his part. They always had his part last because they knew people were hyping it up. People always hype. Everybody wanted to hear what Wayne had to say on the song, and he got two two people on that list came from him: Drake, Drake and Nicki Minaj. Like, come on, bro! Like, Wayne definitely higher than seven. I put Wayne top five right, definitely. So instead of going through the whole, we're gonna we're gonna put the list on the screen so you can see. We're not gonna go through every. We're just gonna pick out the people that we felt like were. Got way too low. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Lil Wayne and Drake way higher. I'll put Lil Wayne and Drake over I put Drake over Eminem in terms of hits. But if we're talking about <laughs> bar for bar, I put Eminem Old Eminem, Eminem yeah. not that new shit. Like Eminem two thousand Encore Eminem. Yeah. Uh, uh Eminem Marshall show Mathers, Marsh Mathers, Mathers Eminem LP, show. I put that Eminem bar for bar, he's washing eighty percent of the stuff. That's my Eminem of the day. We know that. But hits Drake got number one for sure. Billboard Drizzy, bro. That man said more hits than the Beatles. <laughs> he do got more hits than the Beatles. Nicki Minaj got Nicki Minaj got that too, man. They put her at number nine, at number ten. But she's the only female on there. No, no, on that got, top they got, ten. They got, yeah. No, on the top ten, she's yeah. the only female. Right. I think the other woman on this list, is Lauren Hill, Lil Kim, and it's crazy that they put Missy Elliott. Well, Missy Elliott, is she more of a singer. Yeah, no, she, she was a rapper. She, she was well, yeah, she from Virginia. She's she from the crib. Yeah, I get that, but she's more of a rapper. Or singer. A rapper. I heard her rap. <laughs> but she mellow she does melodies too, but she Lauren raps Hill also. Has, Lauren Hill has one single like solo album and she's still on the That's impressive. Number 30. There's not really besides Nicki Minaj, there's not really and little yeah, Kim Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah. They were like the only Queen consistent have a serious era They're like the only consistent female rappers that were putting out constantly putting out music. Yeah, that's true. And the other ones don't even put out music like that no more. That's Nicki right. Minaj well, they got the new wave generation, but they're not. They none of these new right. rap, female some, some rappers on that level. About this whole time, like I was talking to Cash, I like Cash. We had this conversation. So they put Pusha T over Rick Ross. I think that's crazy. Pusha T got bars. Though. He do got, but Rick Ross is number fifty. But he's not more influential than Rick Ross. Rick Ross, Rick Ross has more hits. Rick Ross is the reason why I, I personally him. like Rick Ross more. But bars, Pusha T got bars. Pusha T rapping about stuff that he don't even do. But he used again, to I, do. I guess you can say this again, Rick Ross. You, you can say about half these rappers rap about shit they don't do. Yeah, this one, <laughs> but, but I see what you're saying. Though. More influential, like more hits. Easy. Yeah, Rick Ross definitely they should be higher than 50. They put over Rick Ross? No disrespect to Queen Latifah, but let me, let me use a better example. They put Dr. Trey over Rick Ross? But you know what? He's Listen to this. Listen to this. People put so much investment in these lists. These are just probably a person sitting in our headquarters yeah, no, no, this, no disrespect to my no, white people this, this, but it's probably some white dude in the office that don't even listen to the music you imagine there's a guy named Earl in the office right now just making cooking up delicious that's what I'm saying like we, we invest too much into these lists and Grammy awards and all that shit like this shit don't even really matter like for real for it's just they only did this because of the 50th anniversary of hip hop and they probably don't even listen to hip hop like that yeah because most people that listen to hip hop they just listen to hits so it's there's this argument that happens all the time, like just because somebody's a hit doesn't know the movie's good. If you can promote something enough to the point where like it just keeps getting played, that's what the radio is. Yeah, I know. The, the labels pay money for the songs to get played. Yeah, the algorithm shit. I know you heard the algorithm, right? Yeah, same thing for streaming. streaming the playlist and all that shit. That shit is a some people that uh 
that are like really into much like the new wave, like NBA M Boy, he will not promote none of his music and he'll drop five albums straight and they'll still they'll still yeah, that's what I'm saying. Three, which is impressive. They won't give him the credit though, because they're like, Oh, he's a young he's like he's a young gangster rapper and they don't wanna and he and he he has so many because his people. like legal troubles and yeah. the media, they they don't really fuck with him like that's that. That's why they dropped they dropped Kanye West low on this list too. That's because of his whole Jewish comment. Shit. Yeah, I guarantee you, if Kanye didn't say all that dumb shit he, he be saying, yeah, he would definitely top ten. I, 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 I would, I would have him in Nas. I would have him over Nicki. Yeah, that's Snoop Dogg, you're a goat, but I have him over him. Snoop Dogg would be top twenty five. Shit, top I might, 10. That's crazy. I might put Kanye over. Who else on here? I put Lil Wayne over Kanye. Now. Yeah, they like neck and neck, but I could put Wayne over that. Especially hit for hit. That's I might put Kanye over Nas for real. Me personally, I love Kanye, but as a, <laughs> as, a, as a put Kanye to the side as a as a rapper and not just producer, then I have to put Nas over him. Because Kanye is an artist. Yeah, but Nas is a and, straight and rapper. People hate that. They're like, oh, what is that? It means that you don't just make rap. That's what they call. It. They try to say Drake don't rap, but he. They're not. He's not a rapper. He's an artist, that's but what, that's he raps and sings. He Post Malone more of a singer, yeah, harmonizer. The, the reason why people hate when people use that as a cop out is because, like, if you come into the industry known for a certain type of style, and then you say, "Oh, I'm yeah. doing this," and people are gonna be like, "Oh, so you're just disrespecting the the, the genre that puts you on." Yeah. So in that regard, I get it. But at the same time, if you feel like your genre is evolving so much to the point where, like, you're not saying you're yeah. above it, but you're yeah, you're, you're 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 not excluding. You're included. You're included in more than one group. I feel like that's how we should have worded when you said that. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. So J Cole, they put him at number fifteen. Uh, I I put him high. I, I would put J Cole. I would put J Cole over Nicki. I put J Cole over Snoop Dogg. I, I put him over him like, too. I like Snoop Dogg. Like Snoop Dogg is the reason why he's so popular. He has a great personality. Yeah. He's charismatic. But like top fifty rappers of all time, I would. That's why I need to know. Like what what who. How, what was the criteria for this list? Because they didn't, they didn't put it like when they put the list, they just say they just talk about oh, it's here are their hits and stuff like that and their cadence and stuff. But it's not really. Let's pull up the article real quick. That's the part that's actually getting me kind of hot. Is the list itself? It starts from number fifty, obviously. I'm trying to get you, uh, trying to get you engaged into the list. Right? So let me see how they labeled it because if I were to put Rick Ross at fifty, it's still crazy. <laughs> Hey, yeah, that is put, crazy. They put Future over. They put Future over Rick Ross. And Rick Ross is a better rapper than Future, but Future's good at so better at making ahead, hits. Read a synopsis they, put. they put the greatest of all time, aka the goat. That's a distinguished and also contentious honor when it comes to ranking who or what is the ultimate best. Whether you're talking film, da, da, da. in early 2023, Billboard slash Vibe is ranking the top 50 greatest rappers of all time as part of our salute to this year's golden anniversary of hip hop. The genre dates back to 1973 when DJ Cool Herc. First up is two turntables to a rock upon the party. Hip hop started with that. The rollout began with the January 11th. We revealed the rappers ranked 50 to 41. We revealed 10 more rappers each week since then. Okay, that part doesn't matter. So, this is the criteria. They took a uh, body of work, achievements, so that includes the chart singles, gold, and platinum, certification, cultural impact, cultural impact, influence, and how the artist's work fostered the genre's evolution, longevity, and lyrics, and flow. So, that's their criteria. Like, Fuck that criteria. Like, <laughs> it, it, it sounds good, but I feel like nah, I can't do it. If, if that's the case, why is Rick Ross at fifty? Yeah, I don't know. Rick Ross literally raps about luxury. Like when you think of rappers, you think of people like Rick Ross, and Rick Ross raps about the stuff that rappers want that they don't have yet. He raps yeah. about the the Maybachs, the Rolls Royce, the Double MG, oh, Ricky Rose head. The biggest boss that you've seen thus far. I'm the biggest. Uh, I'm the biggest boss that you've Nigga, seen. stop saying. <laughs> but you, you know what's crazy? Nicki Minaj takes influence from Rick Ross as well. That whole switch making your voice like people want to have a deep voice like Rick Ross because he has yeah. his voice is naturally deep. The other rappers that are like this, like Pop Smoke, that were perfect for gangster rap. Yeah, they start talking, people start listening. So I'm gonna keep it real with you. I don't even give a fuck about this list like that because I feel like they got this list out their ass, yeah. honestly. We could probably come up with a better list than I this. Like we actually listen to hip hop on a regular basis and shit. Some of these motherfuckers on here, Melly Mel, they put, they put MC Dr. Light. 40, but Dr. Is Who else is on and here? E40, putting E40 under uh, Dr. Dre's career. I feel like E40. No disrespect to Black Thought, but I never knew the hype on him. I've never even heard a song from him. No disrespect. I'm not disrespecting. This list, this list would have made more sense if they, Curtis if they Blow. Did like a, if they did like a, what's that thing called? A tier, a tier list. Yeah. And then they base it out of different. 
different uh, states so you could see like who's more popular what state. That could have been another one. Yeah. None, um, none of these are votes. These are all just one per one group of people made the list. So the list is always going to be a little inaccurate. Yeah. But, but man. Let, let's go ahead and make a top 10 real quick. Right? Yeah. So for me personally, my top 10 in no particular order, um, I would put, I, I guess, okay, I guess I'll, we'll put in order. Drake, I would, I would put Nas at number two. Um, ah, never mind. Making a top 10 list is like, <laughs> that, it's like I, you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to try to impress them. Just put your top five. I'm, I'm, like, okay, how about this? I'll do top five based on what I listen to right now. Okay, that's fine. Okay. And I'm, then I'm, I'll give you my top I, five. I like Nas King. They can rap. Illmatic is a classic. But I would still put Nas in my top five. So if I put it based on who I listen to, I would put in the when I'm listening, I put uh J. Cole as number one and turn the whole list to the most. I put Drake as number two, Kendrick Lamar is number three, Nas is number four, and for five, it would actually be Rick Ross, ironically. <laughs> Like, just because I'd be in the gym, and, like, if I'm in the gym, I'm not about to just, I'm not, like, I love Andre 2000, but Andre 2000 does not make, I'm, I'm getting hyped for the gym. He, yeah. he, he made the type of music where, like, oh, you're sitting in the club, and you vibing, and then you see a girl, you trying to be smooth and walk up to yeah. her. That's the type of music Andre 2000. Let me say my so, top five. Yeah. My top five would be. I already named for Drake number one. It's not even a surprise on that one. Well, him and Biggie are interchangeable. But we're talking about, like, right now. Yeah, like, who you listen to the most? Drake number one, mm-hmm. Biggie number two, uh, number three, I will put. Actually, I'll probably put Kanye number three because I listen to a lot of. I've been listening to a lot of him. Kanye number three, J Cole number four, and number five, probably put Jay Z. Okay, and then cool. honorable mention would be Nas number six. Because if, if we did a top ten, Kanye West would be in there. Like, actually, no, I take that back. Well, who who am I? I think I would swap. I would swap Kendrick Lamar with Lil Wayne. Yeah. Yeah. I, I listen to Lil Wayne more than I listen to Kendrick Lamar. I listen to actually. I listen to old Wayne, like way back Wayne when he was on fire. I listen to him. I'm, new I'm stuff. Big, I don't really listen to his new stuff like that. I still love his mixes, like Dedication. Uh, Dedication Five. Yeah. That song, No Sleep. He uh, rapped mm-hmm. over the Woke Up Like This Instrumental from Playboy Cardi, and he murdered it. Yeah. You heard that song with uh Wayne and Takeoff, Rest in Peace, Takeoff. Off that funeral album, no. Oh yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me see. Takeoff ran that shit. Yeah. You know what's crazy? There's a lot of albums that have Takeoff as a feature, but a lot of people just don't really like. For example, I don't sleep. Uh, there's a song. I think it's called Crash the Party, featuring. Uh, it's, it's by Roddy Rich on his uh, Live Life Fast album. The album that didn't get a lot of love, but I feel like it was underrated because he would have appreciated the time it dropped. You know, when I read this album, I said, "This is good." Yeah. But uh, I think that's about that's all we got for you guys. <laughs> yeah. so we're going to wrap it up like that. You, you guys go ahead and leave a comment. Yeah, please. I'm glad you brought that up. Not to cut you off. Mm-hmm. Please leave comments, like, share, tell a friend, tell a family, tell your girl, tell your husband. Just We just need, so, we want y'all to support us because the more y'all support us, the more we put into it. You see what I'm content. saying? The more content we get. So how about this for today's challenge? In the comments, go ahead and put your top five rappers. And if you're gonna clarify, I need you to put if it's top five that you listen to the most, or top five you feel like is the greatest of all time. Because we just did top five of who we listen to the most. Yeah. Putting on the greatest of all time would be a whole different. List. Yeah. It's, then you'd be making it like on quality of music. It'd just be too many factors. Yeah. So just do top five of the artists that you listen to the most, just to keep it simple. All so right. that would be all for now. And we out. Peace. Gotta be easy. Show some love though. Comments, like, share, tell a friend, please. Tell a person, tell a neighbor, tell a cousin, tell your grandma, tell your father, and your sister. <laughs> tell your kid. Are we out? Peace. <laughs>